Welcome back guys, Discount Tools here, and thank you for watching one of the greatest tool review channels on YouTube today. Today, we have a review, a little unboxing right now, but made in the USA, the GL10 from Channel Lock. We call this the Grip Lock. Basically, their version of the Cobra pliers, as you can see, nine and a half inches. It's, yep, laser heated treat, treated teeth for better grip and uh, they will last longer, or longer lasting. Ergonomic design, offset head for greater leverage, especially jaw design accommodates many shapes. Permalock fastener eliminates nut and bolt failure. High carbon steel for superior performance and ultimate rust prevention coating. And channel lock blue comfort grips. Like always, made in the USA. Let's get her open, shall we? And we're going to have to cut her open. Let's go, doctor. Time to operate. It's amazing how you need a tool in order to open up to get to your tool. Wow. I suck today. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. All right, out of the box, as you can see, well, different design actually on the uh, the grooves here for the tongue and groove. As you can see, you have they're only like quarter uh, length. They're usually full length. You do have USA made stamped into it, but this is what I was talking about on my regular channel lock grip. Uh, uh, was it the three-piece uh, channel lock review I did? Uh, you can see right here, this is just a silk screen coating. This will wear out, so cheaper. I do like the feel of it, and the head design is very thin, too. I really like a thinner head on my uh, wrenches now, ever since I used Nipix. But these seem pretty cool. Um, the mouth opening is just like Nipix. Let's go look inside. Teeth, uh, just about. They have more teeth, actually. Nipix, though, will have... Let's look from the top as well. Nipix will have two sides where it's flatter. That way, you're not rounding off the boat. But, nice design. I wanted to actually get these for the longest time. And... So, these are... Yeah... As you can see, from the top of the head, it's nine and a half measuring down to here, not up to here, which is, you know, just over three eighths or about three eighths. This is nine and a half. It's a little, you know, longer than that. It's like more like nine and five eighths, but they want nine and a half, I guess, to sound equal. I'll pull out my regular channel axis to sh show you the difference here. And as you can see, what I was talking about, as you can see, the grooves are usually deeper and longer. While these are, I think they're trying to really compete with Nipix. A lot of people love those cover pliers. Oops. Gotta pay attention. But I do... I it's funny though these feel smoother compared to these where you know it's you know you get you can lock up easier where these how many grooves are in there one two three five grooves these have one two three four five grooves so you do have the same amount of grooves in it um but these just because just the way it is i just feel like you can well that's the first lock up right there but it just it seems easier to get in there and find your placement almost like a speedier design um how they'll hold up who knows um i'm hoping as i said before in this review that you know the it doesn't have the same um 
the same treatment that, you know, rust uh, corrosion treatment has that because you saw they had, you know, I dropped these a couple times and after a couple of use, the rust treatment was kind of peeling off. And I didn't really use them that often, but I'm hoping these are better um, with that. I don't want to see how these work because, you know, I love Nipex. I really do, but let me see. They're well oiled too. I like that. Let's compare the buttons. Same design too. Basically, the teeth are a little finer on here, I would say. They're more of the Nipex teeth and more aggressive. So I could see that you will, you could strip a bolt with this, but these are for more bolt extracting. This is more of a pipe design. And... Let's just see this in war in action for now. Hold that. Tighten her up. Already damaged the head. Actually, did I? Yeah, a little damage to the teeth already, so I went too far with that. I wanted to apply as much force as possible. Yeah, not break that. It does fit um, this better, I would say. Let's go put this on better. As you could see, With the with the head, it fits the uh, these much better. Um, you know the uh, oct uh, I don't know hexadecimal or oct eight sided uh, bolts. I think are these six sided? Maybe they're six sided. They're six sided uh, teeth. But as you can see, it fits nicely. Really. I do like that. It holds it very nice too. Well, I just compare this to this. These are more for like water pump. They're tried and true. Hmm. They worked well too. Let me just try it again. I feel like I don't know. These these feel like they're more sturdier, I guess. But I, I'm so used to the channel locks. Yeah, about the same. I think these are a little lighter, it feels like. Well, these are a little heavier. But it could just be my imagination. But we'll, sh we'll show this in the field, see how these work out there um, in a variety of different uh, different measures. You know, I'll do the same thing I did with these, with the uh, the bolts on my uh, my mower. When, we, when I, you know, have to adjust the height and I have something on my skag show you the skag um, that I can adjust with these two so all right guys I'll see you in the field all right guys so we're back again this time at a customer's house but we're gonna take this off and use these channel locks GL 10 see what they can do so I'm gonna start off with uh, using a ratchet and see Tightening. What these can do. Sorry, guys. So I just want to loosen the top ones. So let me see if I can readjust you. Get out of my way. Try 
try this way. That's why. I hate it when like uh, a ratchet goes right in the middle. Because then, look at that. I can hold the bolt with this. Let's see if I can break this with this. I'm take this nut off. Get some leverage. So, as you can see, it's destroying the bolt. Um, I don't feel like I'm getting a good bite. Could be just because of the space I'm dealing with. See, that's the bite marks. And you have some un uneven wear on top too. Not bad, but wow. Well. I just noticed. I don't think that's. I use the uh, pick lighter, but I don't think. I think that's just a manufacturer. <laughs> I guess. Take a look at this later. It's just a little beads in there. If you, if you can't see it, if this thing would have a focus. As you can see, there's some beads in there. I'm going to see if that's from the manufacturing process. They might have been just trying to rush these out. But. Kind of a little slippy, a little disappointed. They're the uh, regular channel locks actually work a lot better. They actually had a better grip. Let me just see something. Actually, we'll move to the other side. Uh, of the video of that side actually, with this on top. All right, guys. So let's see if we can kick this nut off. Hold it on with the ratchet. In this way, you can see that I'm not using the ratchet at all. It's just weird. It's like the way the it's the head is not that great. It's like as if you could see. Let me take this off. Let me get a bolt for you. I can't show it, but if you could see here, um, the bolt end is meeting here while the bolt is fitting into here. So it's just weird. It's like it should be.
you know, the jar should be even, you know, the bolt should fit in this and line up better. I don't, I don't think the jaws on this is that, that great. Um, we'll do a comparison back at the garage, but, you know, that was the little test we did, and I just don't like how it's lining up to a point, because that can cause, like, stripping, and this could strip your bolts, this could, that could, you know, lead to major problems down the line if you're continuing to use this to undo, uh, un you know, unfasten bolts or pipe or anything like that. Well, not pipe, but, you know what I'm saying. It could lead to something worse than what it is, so. But that shouldn't be taken off well nuts like this. It should, but it could lead to more of a strip bolt head, if you know what I'm saying, meaning because it's not holding it properly. But we'll be, we'll talk more about this more back in the shop. All right, catch you then. All right, guys, let's try this again. I literally just talked to myself for 12 minutes straight about these channel locks. Did a whole review on it, and I hit the stop button, and for some reason. It, I must have hit the back arrow because it just didn't save the video. <laughs> so, like before, I'll do this a little quick because I got things I got to get done. So, looking at the jaws. Actually, let's stop the video here. Alright, we're back. I forgot to put the light on in my haste. But, I went through here and there's some bubbles so, and I wish you guys saw it because there was like a really good thing. But right here, as you can see, I'm just peeling it off. There's going to be bubbles in here. Let me see if I can find one that I saw in the groove, like beads. I thought it was bad slag. It's actually the coating, the protective coating that they use for rust protection on here. And it beaded up inside some of these jaws. Right here, kind of pulled up bad, bad, just bad um, quality assurance right there and manufacturing process. It could be just an error, it could have just had a bad set of pliers, but that's just going to get in the way of you um, gripping the tool and everything like that. Um, I thought this was a problem right here, and I was like, oh, look doesn't grip. It should grip here, but even the Nipix does that. And these are my Nipix, as you can see. So, I just think that... I think the Cobras do it better, but I could be wrong. I don't have the Cobras, so... Um, so, I just don't like how... I was comparing... I compared these two together. I just think that draw on here is a lot more better than this. Because it's just a little wider. Um... And my final review really on it since we're back in the garage Could use a beer too. It's had a bad week and it just keeps on going. I don't recommend these guys. Um For starters the grip like on all of these These have like the wider the widest grip that you need to uh, hold on to the bolt. It's very discomforting um as you can see, just on the first rung, the Nipix, I mean, I, I, yeah, as you can see, no problem, you know, from here is less than three inches. Channel locks just over three, like maybe three, less than, yeah, three and a quarter, about three eighths. Um, less than a half. As I just drop everything. So you guys, it's just one of those weeks. And here, depending on where you put it, I'll be fair and put it here, but actually in the test we did that on the Nipix. It's just about four. So, it's very discomfort. It's just it's very discomforting how to, uh, where you have to hold the bolt and everything with that wide grip. Um... I just didn't like that. I and just to go on a rant, it's I don't like the fact that they tr are trying to be Nipix and just put a U.S. brand name on it. 
and rush these out of the factory. Um, as you can see, if you look at the regular channel locks and the Nipix, look at the angle. They're literally the same angle, except that the Nipix is a little larger because of the the uh, the way the jaw is designed. Right here, you have a different jaw. These are just straight. So, but look at look at these compared to the Nipix. Sorry about that, guys. The Nipix go up. These are almost 90 degrees. They should not be 90 degrees. That's the problem here. And I've heard this with a couple of other things that they're coming out with. I just don't, I don't think, I think they're just trying to chase a, a trend right now that everyone likes these. They work. They're awesome. They're worth the money. And they're chasing a trend going, hey, look, I got these on Amazon. Literally, I got these on Amazon for 10 bucks. Look, you can spend $10 versus $30. i am going to spend the 30 on the Cobras. You know, you can buy three of these versus what, you know, what one Cobra would cost. But these, these are worth it. These, no bueno. <laughs> um, I wish they had larger uh, channels. These channels right here are kind of not flimsy. They are the fastest. I will say that and give it to them. I love that. It's really fast. You don't really get hooked up on it. But I've heard some stories where these channels have sheared off. Not in my, you know, my my demos or anything like that. I'm not going crazy, but a lot of guys in the automotive field and everything have said that these just don't hold up. These have. This is why they've been making these for almost over 100 years, and these have been around for. Mm, this design was like late 80s, early 90s, so almost 25 years. Of German engineering. These are the alligators, by the way, and I'll just let you know it's eight eight zero one two five zero for Nipix. So, and if you want to know, the only I'll do a review, full review of these. I've used these forever, um, but the only difference between them and the Cobras is that the Cobras have the ratcheting. These are just on a rail system with this little detent, and you can curve it up and down. You just gotta work it in. It's almost like a, their version of a channel lock. Except with a Nipix head. I mean a Cobra head. But yeah, these I wouldn't recommend at all. Um I'd just say go with these or something that has a more angled head. Like, you know what? I would, it's sad. I would recommend the Irwins over these. I have the Irwin uh vice grip uh locking pliers, whatever, that are basically their their version of knockout Nipix, and they're just they're much better than these. Um, and they're made in China, which is sad. I mean, it's a sad freaking day, man. To say that, I will not recommend a U.S. made tool. If I'm going to recommend anything, it would be these. I'm just disappointed in the same uh, problem with these, is that they're using that Teflon grip. And as you can see, I nicked it right there. And that's not even, that's just freaking from the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, the watch, uh, just dropping it slightly and you're getting just little nicks and rust from it. It's just, I don't know. They need to do a better job with the uh, rust prevention on it. So, that's my thoughts, guys. I'm um, not going to go on for a whole rant about it anymore. Spent 12 minutes and now it's almost 20 minutes going on about these stupid pliers. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just don't... I, if, you, if you're in a pinch, sure, but... I wouldn't. I I would choose some. Try to sh choose something else. If it was literally this or like the Work Pro, like crappy pliers, yeah, I would go with these. But if it, if I had my choice, like like right here, and even had the Irwins, these would be the last ones I pick. You know, there might be you know certain applications for this head right here, but ah, uh, I I can't recommend that, bro. So that's my thoughts. I'm sticking to it. Don't I can I would go with the 420s over the GL 10s because I've been seeing a lot of ones where they have the GX 40. I think it's called, and it's just not going well for it with a uh, for channel lock within all the newer new future generation pliers, which I think they should try to re kind of revamp these kind of like this. Just go simple, you know. Stop trying to reinvent the wheel like this. I'm putting it at a 90, almost a 90 degree angle, which I find is stupid. 
you know. And when I first saw it, I thought it was cool. I thought it was the same thing with here. But once I saw that, no. All they have to do, literally, put this head right there. You can have the same head on here with the channel locks. And you, you all of a sudden, all of a sudden you can start buying them more. So. <sighs> Alright, guys. I'm going to cut this off because I'll just keep on talking. <laughs> I'm going to take a rag. Sweating my balls off in the uh, garage, but... Leave a comment down below if you have used these. What do you think? Have you, what's your uh, what's your uh, thoughts process on these, or your opinion? You know, let me know if you have used these. What's your, what's your opinion on any of these ratchets? I mean, uh, wrench pliers, ratchets, wrenches, and pliers. I should call a YouTube, make my YouTube channel like that instead of discount tools. <laughs> but yeah. Um, let me know your thoughts, your opinions, uh, how you guys doing, all that's the fun stuff. Uh, hit the like button, always helps the channel. Uh, subscribe, if you haven't subscribed, hit the like, uh, hit that, uh, hit that subscribe button, always helps us out. And if you are subscribed, hit the, uh, bell notification, that way you always get my new, uh, my new content, and get, uh, alerted when that pops up. So, as always guys, just keep on trucking, it's been crazy time, so... As Hulk Hogan would probably say, eat your vitamins, wash your hands, say your prayers. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, stay safe, and hope everyone's family's alright.